Okay, Healy, this is for you. Okay, I'm gonna show you my game systems. Okay. Here, right here, we got the NES Nintendo Entertainment System. This is the back of it. Okay, here's say the um rough switch for it. This and right here goes to the TV. This and right here goes to the game. You probably don't even know the controller, but there's two other controllers and one zapper. You probably know this controller. But, well, I don't have two other controllers, like, well, the two other ones. Not the two, not the ones I promised you. But, okay, the ones are called NES Vantage, the arcade control, or the joystick, or two turbo buttons. And an in your NES, what is it called? It's turbo controller. Okay. Remember, this is the game that I showed in class. It's Mario Bros. Plus Duck Hunt, Nintendo Entertainment System. There's this thing on the back. It says, "Caution: Does do not it store at extreme temperatures." Some will work as a sword at. Do it in most of water. Well, just put it in the wa washing machine and it will still work. Do not clean with benzene, thin, or alcohol. Such servants. Not the ones that, um, that are, um, um, alcoholic. Just the one to clean stuff with. Since we got that done, now I can show you my Sega Genesis. Here's the back of it. Look, it's the bottom. Well, there's a thing for the Sega CD when you get it. You just take this piece off. Hold on. There'll be a piece right here to get to get to cook up the Sega CD, but it might be hard. Well, you just gotta make sure you don't break the break the thing when you're getting it. Okay. My cable. Here's my cable that I use. Hold on. says he'll need to see about it. Me okay, bye. What? Uh, not yet. I'm just, I'm doing the video. Buy my Yahoo open. Sorry guys. Okay. So here's the C adapter for it. God. God this stuff. 
Okay. Here's the Genesis AC adapter. This plugs into the wall. The new thing goes into um the Genesis. Well, I only have the Model 2 Genesis. The Model 1 Genesis would have this cable, like the um, NES RF switch. Here's what it looks like. Here's the thing. Here's the thing where it goes into Genesis, but I don't have the Model 1. Okay, these are only two games for the Genesis. Sonic the Hedgehog. And Mortal Kombat. Okay. Once again, I'll show you the Genesis controller, but there's another controller, which is the six button controller to play Mortal Kombat, but I don't got it. Can you see? Okay. C. B. A. Yeah. No wonder in that. Let's turn on to the Super Nintendo. Here is it. Copyright 1991 Nintendo. Oops. See the slide. See the number right there? I probably won't be in use anymore. But okay. Here's the Super Nintendo controller. There's also a zapper. But you can only use that for Yoshi Safari or Terminator 2 Judgment Day, the arcade game. Here, where it plugs into the system. The controller. Well, I don't have the Super Famicom. Okay, here's the AC adapter. Little, this big square thing. And here's where it plugs into the Super Nintendo. Mine might, it might be tricky for me. But okay. Here's my cable that goes into the TV that I put in, in the Super Nintendo. This cable works for GameCube and Nintendo 64. But okay, now the game. Super Mario World. Copyright 1991, Nintendo. I could... I can level edit it well, with Lunar Magic. Well, it's the only thing on the computer, but you have to go on YouTube and type in Lunar Magic to be able to edit the levels. And you need a legitimate ROM and one of the emulators. But, okay. It's all this. This is for you. Bye bye.